Hello guys and welcome to the tutorial on reading files in x86-64 Linux assembly. So to start reading a file we first need to use sysopen. The first argument sysopen takes is a pointer to the file name which is zero terminated string. The second argument are the flags, basically how you want to open the file. The third argument is the file mode being the 4-bit octal number that we learned from earlier. So this is just like uh, how we start uh, writing a file. And here are the flags. The big difference between writing and reading a file with sysopen is we're going to use this flag. We're going to use the read only flag. So here's the code to open a file with the read only flag. So this code here, um, as you can see, I have sysopen o read only. These values are defined in an include file called linux64.inc and I'll put that in the description. So this is the ID of the system call, specifically the ID for sysopen. So uh, move into RIX sysopen. Um, file name, um, this is the pointer to the zero terminated string for the file name to open. Um, this is the read flag, which is zero. Um, and also uh, the O here tells an estimate that this is an octal value. Um, the 0644, this is the file permission, but it does, the file permission, um, doesn't really matter too much if we're only reading a file. File permissions are mainly important if you're writing a file. If you're reading a file, it's not going to do much. This system call returns, uh, the file descriptor of the file when opened within the RX register. If there is an error, that error is returned in the RAX register. <laughs> so this system called sysread can be used to read text from a file. It is used exactly like how we used it in the tutorial on getting user input. The only difference is that the first argument is changed to the file descriptor returned from the sysopen system call. So the, here's the first argument, the file descriptor. The second argument, the uh, uh, link to the, uh, the, uh, pointer to the allocated memory to store what we're reading, and then the count is how many bytes to read. So here's the code to read from an open file. The file descriptor comes from the RIX register, assuming sysopen was successful. So I just move into RDI RIX. So that assumes um, RX is holding the file descriptor. Um, this is the ID of the system call, specifically the ID for sysread. So this is just the system call name, sysread. Uh, a pointer to where the red text will be stored. I just named that uh, address text. The number of bytes to read from the file, in this case, 17 bytes. So this is we're reading 17 bytes from the file. Now the last thing we use is sysclose. This only takes the file descriptor as its only argument. So it's pretty simple. So move into RIX sysclose. Um, then pop RDI. So obviously move our, our, into RIX sysclose. Sysclose is just the uh, ID of the system call. Specifically the ID for sysclose. This is the file descriptor of the file to close. It assumes it is on the top of the stack. So pop RDI will pop a value off the top of the stack and store it in the RDI register. So if you previously pushed the file descriptor onto the stack, you can now just pop it off to close the file. So here's the code to actually write a file. Um, this is the paste bin link for it. So here we have the code to open the file. And then you notice after you open the file, we immediately push the file descriptor onto the stack. Then we read from the file. And then we close the file, and here we pop it back off the stack. And then we print the text we read, and then we exit. So as you can hear up up here, I section.bss uh, text reserve bytes 18. I reserved 18 bytes because this print macro uh, prints a zero terminated string. So it's it reads 17 characters into this uh, memory address, but then the 18th character is a zero, which terminates the string. So this will successfully print text from a file um, named myfile.txt, 
And as you can see, I put comma zero because it's a zero terminated string. The file name is myfile.txt and it's a zero terminated string. And again, you need to have Linux64.inc included for uh, things like sysopen and stuff and the print and exit macros. And that will be in the description.